Hey guys, today we're at Crosscut. We are checking into Abe Capanas. We're featuring Abe Capanas, uh, Detroit Pan Pizza. It's uh, been, talk been, been being talked a lot about, so I had to go check it out. Uh, I will say, uh, allegedly, it's the first. I think it's the first Detroit style pizza that's come to Bend. I will say, Shalotsky's has a similar type of pizza that they've been serving on the east side of Bend for quite some time. Uh, maybe. Go check it out. Let me know if it would be considered Detroit style. I don't think so, but it's very similar. So um, this pizza tasted, you know, it's tasted similar, but it was very, very good. I will say that. All right. And uh, without further ado, let me know in the comments if you go check it out. Let's get into the video. The pizza was developed in 1946 at Buddy's Rendezvous on Bagus and Anagara, located at the corner of Six Mile Road and Conan Street in Detroit, Michigan. Sources disagree whether the original Sicilian style recipe was based on Anna Guerra's mother's recipe for schizophrenia or a recipe from one of the restaurant's employees, Connie Pinchinato. The recipe created a focaccia like crust with pepperoni pressed into the dough to maximize the flavor penetration. The restaurant baked blue steel pans available from local automotive suppliers, made in the 1930s and 40s by Dover Parksburg and used as drip trays to hold small parts for scrap metal. In automobile factories, because baking pans available at the time were not appropriate for the dish. Some 50 to 75 year old pans are still used to this day. The restaurant was later renamed Buddy's Pizza. In 1953, the Garris sold it and opened the Cloverfield in East Point, Michigan. Former Buddy's employees Louis Tortois fund funded Louis Pizza in Hazel Park, Michigan. National Chain Jets, Local Chain Shields, and Luigi's, the original, of Harrison Township are other locally notable restaurants serving the style. Buddy's Pizza Chief Brand Officer Wesley Pecula, who started at Buddy's as a busboy in the 80s, said that he had never heard the term Detroit style before the 1980s when a trade magazine used it and that even afterward it was seldom used except in national trade articles. As late as 2007, some local media were referring to the style as Sicilian style. Some makers of Detroit style pizza in other areas questioned whether to call their pizza by the na that name as sometimes people have negative thoughts about Detroit. The Detroit style pizza was popular throughout the Detroit area but until 2010 was not often found at restaurants outside of the area. In 2011, two Detroit brothers opened a Detroit style pizza restaurant in Austin, Texas using the Detroit style name as a point of differentiation. In 2012, local restaurant cook Sean Randazzo won the Las Vegas International Pizza Expo World Championship with a Detroit-style pizza, and according to the pizza educator, Tony Germanani, the reaction was immediate. After he won, I must have had six phone calls from operators from guys who are big in the industry saying, give me a recipe for Detroit. How do I figure this out? Says Germanani. Randazzo started a training and certification program to teach others in the industry to make authentic Detroit-style pizza. By 2018, he had trained 36 restaurateurs from the U.S., Thailand, and South Korea. By 2019, a restaurant in Canberra, Australia was serving the style. The same year, San Francisco Bay Area also experienced interest and growth. Montreal, Canada had a restaurant that began serving the style in 2020, otherwise known as the year we're in right now. Describing the Detroit style pizza is everything we love about pizza. A long dough fermentation mixed with a combination of soft, chewy, and crunchy textures. According to Serious Eats, in, 2000, in early 2016 or so, everyone seemed to be talking about it, or writing about it, or opening up restaurants devoted to it. Trade Journal Pizza Today wrote in 2018 that perhaps no pizza style has entered the public consciousness in quite the way that Detroit style pan pizza has. They credited Randazzo's International Pizza Expo win with rocking the pizza world. Trade Journal Restaurant Hospitality said the style had become popular on Instagram. In 2019, Esquire called the style one of the hottest food trends across America, and both the Detroit Free Press and Eater said Detroit style was having its moment. Eater wrote that pizzerias offering the style were spreading across the U.S., but that the new pizzas were different. Eater writes, on one side are the local Detroit style pizzerias and restaurants devoted to their norm core. Family restaurant roots with toppings directly on the crust, a layer of processed brick cheese and sauce on top. Then there are the artisanal square pizzas with their aged doughs, organic toppings, unprocessed cheeses and frico crust. These designer square slices are sometimes baked in a wood 
fired oven and often served on Instagrammable metal trays and perfect lighting, a departure from a checkered table tablecloths, no frills, boat, drinks, and generous displays of voucher ball plaques at Buddy's. And in this new era of Detroit style pizza, it's new photogenic version that many Americans are discovering first. Eater said that the artisanal trend was slow to catch on in Detroit, along with the Coney Island hot dog and the Boston cooler, the traditional Detroit style is one of Detroit's iconic local foods.